Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. Just a really quick video here, a midweek video to show you um, concerning this 50 inch Panasonic TV. Um, now although it says Panasonic on the front, it's actually made by Vestel. Um, so somebody's paid just an awful lot more money um, for a TV when they could have bought one that said Bush on the front. Um, now I, I, this is quite a common fault, I've had these a few times before and uh, as soon as the customer said uh, what he'd done, I realised straight away what the problem was without even taking the back off. Um, so here's the history. The customer brought it in. He said um, it was um, it was fastened to his wall. It was working absolutely fine. Um, they've had a new TV in the living room, a better TV, and uh, they thought they'd move this one to the conservatory. So he took it down off the wall. He fastened the stand to it, and uh, it's never worked since he put the stand on. So I'll just turn the telly on first, and then we'll have a look at the symptom. Right, so that's it, it's come on, uh, you can see the screen's lit up, there's no picture, but I don't know if you can see this on the camera, if we move very closely, um, it says in very milky writing there, no signal through PC, um, and you can actually see a square box where the message is, uh, let me just see if I can um, make that a bit clearer, right, I don't know if that's, this shows up, uh, but I press the button on the side, uh, and it actually says... There, you can just about see the menu. It might not show up on the camera, but I can see some very faint writing in the background. Right, so we'll, I've live the TV down now. We're about to take the back off. So if I just move the camera around here, I can see straight away what the problem is. If you look there, it's got two correct black screws for Vestel, and the top two, we've got two incorrect silver screws. Um, now, and some people be thinking, well, what difference does it matter what screws you put in? Uh, well, let's take the back off and I'll show you. Right, so that's the standoff. The back's already unscrewed. Um, for anybody who wants to see the model number, um, it's a Panasonic TX50A300BA. Um, although that's pretty irrelevant, it's uh, made by Vestal in Turkey. Um, you can get the same set with lots of different names on. Uh, but all that's irrelevant because this is a general advice video. So let me show you what the problem is. You can see where the stand was fastened there. If we remove the back. Or stop the camera and remove the back because I can't do it with one hand. Right, the back's off now. So you can see that's where the stand went. Uh, I've unscrewed the stand, moved it out of the way. Um, you can see the holes there where the stand goes and the first thing you'll notice is right behind this metal strip which holds the stand on um, you can see there's a board and it is of course the timing control board um, and what's happened is because he's put two longer screws in these screws um, have gone straight through there and they've damaged this timing control board underneath so let's let's just take that off and I'll have a look what damage there is right so if you just take a look there you can see the pattern the screws left uh, where he's been turning it and uh, it, i don't think it's damaged any components the surface mounts are still intact um what it will have done it'll have tightened it down till he's cut through these uh, pcb tracks so it is actually a relatively easy fault to cure this um but you can see there the damage done by using too long a screw so that's why it's absolutely essential with not just with Vestel TVs but with any TV to use the exact size of screw uh, the manufacturers have provided right so let's stop the camera I'll just get this fixed and then we'll take a look at it and see it working Yeah, so all in all, a very clever idea that from Vestal. Put a board right through where the screws are. Right, just put it on this um, cheap, poor quality microscope. Um, I've cleaned all the board up. You can actually see there, it's cut through one, two, three, four tracks. So all that's needed there is just uh, a little bit of micro soldering 
Right, I don't actually know if it shows up on this camera, but unfortunately soldering it all up didn't work. Um, well, it was a good try, uh, but fortunately, because it's a Vestal, um, Vestal parts aren't very expensive. So the brand new one's only just over £13 plus VAT, so that's what we're going to have to do is get a new board. So if you look at that, you can see the difference now between the correct screw um, and the ones, the other two the customers fitted. And these aren't even expensive to buy. So if we look there, that's the proper screw from Vestal. And uh, the price is only 10p each. So no excuse for not using the right screws. We'll have the latest. Okay guys and girls, many thanks for watching my video. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Money and you can't get round it. You, there's, there's things that you can't change.